Good morning, everyone. Today we're starting off in the bathroom. I just finished working out, had a protein shake, um, was on my phone for a little bit, and I just hopped out of the shower, finally shaved my legs because the weather's getting nice outside, um, and I did my skincare routine. As you can see, my forehead is burnt. We went on a walk on Saturday. And I was a bad girl and didn't wear sunscreen. I should know better. I'm an esthetician. So my forehead burnt. Um, but I have ordered some sunscreen. And I'll go more into detail about that sunscreen when it arrives. But it was, it was a process to get this sunscreen. Anyways, so I've done my skincare. The plan for today is to head to the grocery store. I'm trying to only do grocery shopping about every two weeks. Um, so I'm like stocking up, but not like hoarding, obviously. That way I'm minimizing the amount I'm going to the grocery store. And then this morning when I was like flicking through Instagram, I, I'm going to bring you along as I get ready. So I'm just going to chat with you. This morning as I was going through Instagram, HelloFresh had this like awesome deal on their box subscription. And it was like $80 off and it was going to cost, I think like $25 for me and Lucas for three meals for the week. And I've always wanted to try it because I've seen people um, going on about how great it is. So I did go and sign up. And then once you sign up, that's when you get to choose your meals. The only bad thing about that is that Lucas, we think, has a dairy allergy. Um, every time he eats dairy, his throat like swells. So, I mean, it's probably a dairy allergy. So we're avoiding it. Um, we chose the veggie plan to give that a try um, because we're trying to eat more like vegetarian vegan options as you are aware um, but every single option had some sort of cheese in it and I was looking I'm like oh well maybe I could omit the cheese in this recipe for him but like two of them it was like cream sauces another one was a pasta like a stuffed ravioli and there's just no way of, around getting around that so I had the app and I tried to change the subscription like box type to the meat or it's called the Pronto, I think. And I was trying to change it to like allow meat with hopes that we wouldn't have like as much dairy. And I changed it, but it wasn't changing my first box. Finally, I was just like, okay, well, can I just cancel then? Because like we can't eat this food. I mean, like I can, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can, I can eat cheese, but like heavy creams and stuff, I can't. And then finally they were like, yep, no problem. We can give you a refund. And so they gave me a refund and I'll expect it in a few days. But then I went on to just ask like for future reference, if I were to sign up again, would their like regular box, their pronto box, I think it's called, be like have a lot of dairy in it. And they said that she'll pass on that message to the, or he or she, I don't know who I was talking to we pass that on to their like executive chefs as feedback but yes at the moment they do contain like dairy so if you're somebody that's thinking about getting hello fresh just know that if you do have dietary restrictions i don't know how good it is um at least for the dairy option it's not that good so i guess at the end of the day it means i don't get addicted to a subscription box which is good um, but I was looking forward to trying it. If anybody does have any other subscription boxes that they do, like food food plans, I live in Canada, if you aren't aware. Um, so it will need to be somewhere that can be delivered in Canada. Um, preferably it would be like a vegetarian or vegan box, um, but it does need to allow for dietary restrictions. So if you guys know of any other ones, um, that are pretty affordable because at the end of the day I don't want to spend an arm and a leg when I can just make the food because at the moment I do have the time to cook. So, um, but if you do know of any, leave them down below for me so I can check them out. I started working out heavily again. I've been doing um, like yoga for the past week consistently every single morning and I felt great after I've done it. 
Um, the only day I didn't do it was yesterday actually and I felt like shit all day. So that should tell you something. So I'm redoing the 21 day fix. Um, I, I've done it like three times and I've had great results. Um, but I've fallen off the bandwagon with working out. So like I said in my last vlog, I've started wearing my Fitbit again. And it's definitely pushed me to not only um, get my steps in every day, I mean, except for yesterday because I didn't really do anything, um, but I've also been tracking my water intake because my water intake has been atrocious. So what I've been doing is using my water bottle again because I find if I just drink out of a glass, I'm not as conscious of how much water I'm drinking. So when I drink out of this water bottle, I've measured how much is in it and then I just, once I'm done one, I know to put 700 milliliters in my little Fitbit app and I track it throughout the day. And I've every single day hit my target drink, which is like eight glasses of day, that's what they recommend. But there's been many days that I've gone over it. Um, so yeah, I've been counting my steps and my water intake and now I'm working out again. I just need to get some normality back in my life and for years I thought it was so weird when people would say, oh I feel so much better after I work out in the morning, but it is true and maybe it's because I'm getting older. Uh, but last week when I did that yoga I felt significantly better all week compared to previous weeks where I just haven't done anything. Just like stretching my body, getting my body moving and then I've also said to like people that were fortunate to have a dog, one for the companionship, but also because it forces us to get outside. It forces us to go and do something with our day. It forces us to get outside and walk because he needs exercise too and we don't have a very big backyard. Our backyard is basically taken up by our pool. So we run around back there with him a bit, but we do like to take him on like at least a 40 minute walk a day. We've been trying to do like a couple walks a day, but it all just depends on our schedules as well. So I'm also back into filling in my brows like a little bit more. I went through this period where I was keeping them like quite um, natural, but looking back on pictures and stuff I've taken, there's just not as much like symmetry. So I'm filling them in a little bit more. I am still keeping it like quite natural. So I'm just trying to fill in the areas that are sparse and the areas that will like make my brows look more uniform. Again, eyebrows will never be sisters or twins. They're like sometimes distant relatives and that's okay. But I do want to make them look like a little bit fuller, especially it's this one, especially this one at the front, it like, I don't know, I like it to be a little bit more bushier, so I use the color in there. I could do a whole like video on how to fill in eyebrows if you wanted, um, but again, like eyebrows are one of those things that it's personal preference. So I haven't been to the grocery store in like two weeks. And I'm curious to see like what it's like. Last time I went, it was like completely fine. Um, there was limits on some stuff. Like we, we do eat like tuna sandwiches like two times a week for lunch typically, but there's limits of two cans per person. So I'm wondering if those limits are still on, but I do know I want to get more vegetables in my diet because I've been lacking on that. I'll probably just do a messy bun today, to be honest with you. Right. that's good for now. I've decided I'm going to sew the apron that I talked about in the last video and I thought I would bring you along with me. So I have all the fabric laid out here. I probably should give it an iron before I start but like I don't think that's gonna happen. So I have my honeycomb fabric then I have this fabric here which is the B print. So I think I'm gonna do the B print as the main um, color and then this will be the interior. Sorry, my floor is really squeaking. Um, it's a double-sided apron and I'll link the tutorial that I'm using down below. Alright, 
so I gave in and I ironed it. It's not perfectly ironed, but it's way better because I realized once I cut them out, they were so different shapes <laughs> that it was bad. So I gave in, I ironed, and then I had to like trim around the edges to make it all match. <laughs> so if you're gonna sew, make sure you iron your fabric. <laughs> That's what I've learned. <laughs> I messed up! I messed up! Oh no, I messed up! I messed up! Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get... I connected it to the wrong dot. Okay, I'm gonna see if I have enough of this fabric, otherwise it's gonna be a one-sided apron. Ah, oh, I'm so angry! Oh my god, I like just have enough width. And then I have lots of length. Thank God. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out and pay more attention to the tutorial. All right, so now what I need to do is cut the straps and the pocket. I think I'm gonna make the straps and the pockets both out of the B print one though. So I'm at my ironing board now. I've cut out all my strap pieces. I have to fold them in half. I decided to press it so that it doesn't get all disturbed when I'm sewing and I'm gonna pin them then I need to sew them and then flip them inside out. And I like to use, I have like a bin, oops, can you see them, of these little clips. They're kind, they're, to me, they're, oops, to me, these are way easier to use than regular pins um, for things like fast sewing. I'm no sew expert by any means, but I find I really like these kind of like clips. Such a domestic goddess, she says. It'll be so easy, she says. This isn't easy. This is one of my straps that happened off screen when I tried to flip it inside out. All right, I guess I'll load my bobbin and sew around it again. Maybe I could just flip it though. Flip it and then sew an edge around. Let's try that. So I just finished sewing the like the the seam on it. That was another like cluster mess. My bobbin keeps like disconnecting. I don't know. Maybe sewing isn't for me. I like I like doing it at first and I like the idea of it and then we actually get into it. So uh, this is my apron. Let's try it on. So we tie it up here doesn't need to be that tight and then we tie it around here and now I have an apron for my domestic goddessing <laughs> although maybe I'm not much of one because this was a pain in the tushy to sew <laughs> So at least I can say I was productive today because I sewed an apron, regardless of how successful it went. <laughs> but I will link the tutorial down below. It was a really easy tutorial to follow, I just am having issues. Well, at least that kept me occupied and I have a finished result. I don't think I'll be making an apron again anytime soon. And I also won't be surprised if it falls apart in the wash. So after that, I am now sweating to death <laughs> and I'm going to change into some sweatpants and head downstairs and we're going to watch something. Um, yeah, that was, that was exciting. Whoops, I'm way out of frame. I think we're going to watch Wentworth. We're on season six and we're just kind of pushing through to the end. Um, it was really good, but now we're like, eh, but now it's getting good again. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need a snack, I need a drink of water, I need my comfy pants on, and I need to go watch some TV. <laughs>